Hey guys, welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. So last time, we were going to split up. And we're going to meet up in 40 minutes, so... Sounds good. Kay and Luna stepped through the... Blah, blah, blah. Kay and Luna stepped through the magenta door and out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh... You don't think Kay's the killer, do you? Maybe. Maybe. But if he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. Damn it, fight. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. <sighs> I know. I know. Well, yeah, but I just had this gut feeling that I could trust him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you are not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. That's not it. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you considered that it might be Luna? I have, as a matter of fact. Because she's too perfect. No, that's not possible. Why not? Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. When we played the last round, Alice's BP was 1. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she would have had to do is convince us to vote ally and she could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. Exactly. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? Maybe, considering the only person you've ever stopped is me. We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So, what, you're saying Luna's the killer? And I'm also apparently going through puberty again? No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. M maybe. M maybe. Also- Alright, I think that's enough of that. Didn't Alice have the key? Which can unlock his, his helmet. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. Alright, let's do that. But let's also see if we can find the key that she was holding around with her. Or if it's not there, let's go back to the robot warehouse where it was. The crew quarters. Oh, hey, Clover. Hey, come on, don't run away. Run away? Well, it sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though I just don't want to talk to you. Why? Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Also, your animation's freaking me out. Look, running away isn't going to do you any good. Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out unless you talk to people. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. Oh, really? Who was it then, Clover? Who was it? I can't tell you. Why not? You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Oh, come on. Of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her. She's never going to believe you. Just tell um, us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Yeah. Is it? Does it have anything to do with what she was doing at the at the back of the warehouse before? She, she looked like she was like messing with something. Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, wait, Clover. Ah, come on. Well, there she goes. Ah, shit. What's wrong? I forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is now. Oh. Really? That's it? Well, yes, it's important, I think. Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. All right, then. She reached down and casually picked up Alice's bracelet off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. 
I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice noticed? Were you even listening? Fine, what did Alice notice? Fight an answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Okay, so huh. she might have picked up a piece of paper. Found something already. Have a look. Oh, it actually was a piece of paper. Fi held something out. It was a handkerchief, stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. If it's not hers, then whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. And you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dia's bracelets have changed to. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. Let's take the blue door, then. We should be able to get to the room Tenmyoji, Quark, and Clover went to that Sounds way. Sounds good. So, okay, so I'm guessing she found the handkerchief over over where she was looking before. But if it is the old ladies, then why was it over there and not in the not in the room that she she died in? Cuz she died at the far left. Like her her body was at the far left where me and Fi were. But the handkerchief was at the far right. So that doesn't make sense. Wait, they're all... Oh. It says rec room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah, so this is where Tenmyoji's team went. I'm going to open it, alright? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I need my parents' permission to go online to DisneyChannel.com. Oh god, it's another zero. Ten Miyoji. How, how are you doing, buddy? I'm guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. What? I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. No, of course I'm not happy the little boy's still missing. We need his bracelet. No, of course not. Why would I why would I be? And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? No. Because I'm not, I don't have that personal connection with him. <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? Tenmyoji, what's going on here? This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, and just but... what the hell do you know? Calm He's down, all buddy. I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... Tenmyoji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. Did you say brought? Yes. Zero made me an offer. Wait a minute. I thought you said you and Quark were abducted like the rest of us. You mean you came here voluntarily? Hey, answer me. What the hell's going on here? How did you... Why would you come here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Huh? Why? Please, just do it. Fi and I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on, but there was no reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as we'd been asked. Then suddenly... Ah! 
In the blink of an eye, Tenmyoji had pulled some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both of our wrists with it. Hey, what the fuck? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, though. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah, I found it when I was searching this room. He walked toward the door and flipped the light switch. Um, Good work. It's dark now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Luminol was that chemical. Sorry about that. Uh, Luminol was that stuff from 999, or rather, it's the stuff police use to find blood at a crime scene, right? Because if so, then we're clean. Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guess when you turned off the light. Isn't that the stuff they use on cop shows to find blood and uh, other stuff? Yeah. Why did you spray us? Well, because if we, you know, killed someone, we would have had blood relax, on our hands. Okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. So, uh, someone mind explaining this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Well, Alright then. Hey, Tenmyoji. I'm sorry, but I've gotta go. I need to go look for Quark. No. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped a real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you an offer? Why are you in here? I can't tell you. Why not? I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, right? Yeah. Then why... You don't get it. I, I don't, so how about you let me know? We can have a conversation... You can give me the information that we both need to trust one another, and then we can move on with our lives. Or however little you have left in yours, judging by your hair. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Okay, fair enough. Please, I'm asking you. Put yourself in my shoes. I looked at him in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Before I could speak, he turned and left the room. Well, bye, Tenmyoji. Hey, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. No, it's not about what just happened. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. Ch chill, man. I got this. Thanks, Fi. You got, you got, you have perception, and I'm happy for that. I had a look while he was talking. Oh, good job. That uh wasn't what I wanted to ask well, either. Well, what is it then? When he sprayed us, you uh, you screamed, didn't you? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You did, though. I can play it right now. No! no, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Fi. This is why I like you. Where are we now? The warehouse B? Yeah. This... It looks like another warehouse. I guess there's one on this floor too then, huh? Makes sense, I guess, as much when we saw the map. So there's warehouse 1. There's warehouse 2. There seems to be a lot more places that we haven't actually been able to get to. Memento Mori of the Ninth Lion Ate the Sun. Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Yeah, there was, but 
Never mind that. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably read the uh, the notes I got at some point in time, but I'll do that later. There's someone else here. Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. All right, Dio, you little shit. Let's talk. What are you doing here, Dio? Oh, nothing. Just going with the flow, you know? I'm seeing where life takes me. Yeah, sure, buddy. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. Well, yeah, I would be okay with that, too. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. The rest of our lives? Yeah. Did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens, opens once. Words. Once that happens, it's all over. Close for good, huh? I had to admit, I'd kind of forgotten that detail, but if Zero Junior had been telling the truth, we wouldn't be able to get out until we died. Hell, even that might not be enough. Maybe they just leave our corpses there to rot. My stomach did a little flip. So? What are you guys here for? Well, we came to look for Quark and so we found you. Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Ah, huh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. Crane. Crane. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the A-B game won't pick ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. Why not? Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. Okay. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Hold on, wait. I just figured something. That crane. It's not operational, is it? I mean the one on floor A. Because if so... If the handkerchief was at the right side... Could they have moved the A-B room while we were busy doing an escape room? Guess everybody misses my company. If so, then who was it... Who could have... It would have been Luna who killed Alice, right? Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. Was Kay by himself? Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. And Luna split off and... Luna is really getting a lot of suspicion from me right now. <laughs> I see. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. That's... That's Alice's bracelet. But how did you know that? Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. So the next color is white? Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... It becomes white. Exactly. You get magenta by adding red and blue together, and then adding green to that gives you white. So that means Fi and I would need to pair up with the green solo, which is Luna. Right. That means the other three would be in the same team as before. Tenmyoji, Clover, and Quark. We know that Tenmyoji is a red solo and Clover is a cyan pair, so that means... The only one left is the other cyan pair. So we can assume that's what Quark is. Could there be any combinations? No. There's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. We've only got five minutes left before it's time to meet up with everyone else. We should get going. 
Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Nobody invited you. Come on, Fly. Right. On my way. Why are we going to the lounge? What you think about, Fi? Huh? Something up? Why did you just stop? Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yes. It reminded me of something we saw earlier. What do you mean? Remember the graffiti on floor B? Well, yes, Memento Mori. The ninth line ate the sun. You remember what it said? Um... Memento Mori, right? Do you know what that means? It's Latin for something like, be aware of death or remember death. I think it's usually used to mean we're all going to die someday, so don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other part? Well, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? If the ninth lion ate the sun. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nonsense, but... Oh, I get it. But who's... What's the ninth lion? How, hold on, how many lions have I seen in the game so far? That's what it, the clock made you think of, right? The sun that sets. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Apart from the fact that it made no sense? Not huh. really. Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. Again with the eyes. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Was it? Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Ninth. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. They just put an extra E in there. Exactly. That's kind of a bonehead mistake. Do you think it was like a kid who wrote it? Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. I'm not following. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. But why? Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. One, two, three, four E's. No, six E's. Uh, what? Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Huh. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. Yep. Sure is. We should get moving. Right. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Well, to me, it just looks like Zero uh, specifically spelled out the word nine. So there's nine lions. Nine lions, one sun. I think I've seen three of them. Where is everyone? Huh? Kay and Luna aren't here. Astute observation. What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Yeah, I guess you've got a point there. Hey, where are you going? just want to check something really quick. Check what? The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Yeah, what do you think she was looking at? Huh? Find something? Is this blood? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. Thank you. I'm glad I could see it with my eyes, apparently. I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel like stupid or the something. The truth hurts. Damn it, Fi. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Uh, yes. Is my theory right? Oh my god. I was right. Holy shit. Fi suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at a metal crane. It was the kind you might see in a shipyard, the sort that moves along a metal track and has a claw to grab it and lift cargo containers. So, what's the deal with that crane? 
What? Damn, gone again. Stop running around. Just tell me what you found. I noticed something. Oh yeah? And what, pray tell, was the that? same thing Clover and Alice noticed. That's... Arg. Can't you just tell me? Look at the number 6 AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Vampires? Yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! <sighs> this is no time to be screwing around. It's the perfect time to be screwing around. Because I'm pretty sure everyone's dead. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Alice is looking at the handkerchief. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? She was thinking, man, isn't it weird that there's blood in a handkerchief here when the only person who has been shown to die so far was in the leftmost AB room? To put suspicion on me and Fi. Hmm. No. K, right? Yeah, it would have been K. Why is there a bloodstained handkerchief here? Or something along those lines? And? Did this belong to the old woman? It and? must have. But if it did, then who put it here? Or wait, maybe someone just dropped it or they could have thrown and? it here. You want more? You're almost there. Hmm. How long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that? Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Well, I imagine it wasn't here from wait. the start. When's the start? You know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AB room and through the hatch on the roof. The first thing we did after we got out and met everyone except for Clover and Kay was go look at the number 9 door. We spent a long time examining the AB rooms, too. Yeah, I know we looked at this from the... Looked at this from this exact angle. But something's off. I, I can see it now. It's off. There wasn't... Wait. Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? Yep. I was right. No way. The AB room moved? Yeah. Was that Crane? Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? The body of the old woman. And... Who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started? Well, it would have been the AB room on the right at first, so... Luna! Oh my god, did I just call this? Luna is the most suspicious person here. For the third time, Fi walked off without saying anything. My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began two milkmen. What do you think this is? Well, I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more of the old woman's blood? She just kind of got thrown all over the place? Seems like it. So Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it so that no one would suspect her. That would mean the first person to get out was Luna, not Alice. Hmm. So, what about that handkerchief? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. The scalpel. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with this handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then, when the room was moved, it came out. That means Alice picked up the weapon along with the handkerchief. Seems pretty likely. So Alice figured this all out, but she was killed. This is all and, just speculation, understand? And Luna killed her. Oh my god. There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery, alright. For example, 
Why would Luna leave the AB room, murder the old woman, then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body. But we still don't have any idea why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. <clears throat> it's also worth noting that Zero Jr. seems to have let all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but... So far, there have been, been two murders and he hasn't done anything about either of them. Do you think that means Luna's Zero Senior? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. It's possible she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... Or... Or... Is Luna the robot? Because it was pretty... This game was pretty, you know, consistent with trying to beat it in my head that someone could be a robot. And with all the suspicion placed on Luna, I can't think of anything else. Because if she's suspicious of all this, why not also be a robot, right? If Luna's Zero Senior, couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? She'd have access to the entire facility. That's not all, either. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known they'd be discovered after, after she moved the room. Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Luna was with us since we got, first got out of the AB rooms all the way till we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the magenta door and investigated the lounge. Then we went down to 4B together and came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have moved. Of course! Why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi. She couldn't have moved the AB room. We're her alibi. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. Wait, what? You didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Oh, you mean that stuff she said about what she noticed? Right. Which would mean Clover's after Luna. Hey, Fi? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a really bad th feeling about this. We were supposed to meet up the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. Oh, no. Sigma. Oh god, hi. I'm not gonna lie, that actually scared me. Fi, there you are. Okay. I'm sorry, I have some bad news. Luna. Luna is dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. Oh, fuck. This was the third time I touched the body and felt cold skin. I thought it might get easier, but it had only gotten worse. I didn't think I'd ever get used to it, but I didn't want to. My hands began to shake and I tried to steady them as I pressed a pair of fingers to her neck to check for a pulse. Nothing, of course. Luna was dead. Also, I can't help but notice the, the medicine gun she has and the lack of blood. Luna's not dead. Her eyes were flat and empty, the, pu the pupils dilated in what could have been terror. It felt surreal. Like I might blink and then she would sit up again. She would smile and blush and look away nervously and everything would be alright. I blinked. She lay there, still, dead, and pale. And I... I trust him. Grief cracked open like an egg and rage clambered out, hot and angry and screaming. It clawed at the inside of my chest and pounded at the back of my eyes. I squeed them shut and ground my teeth, my hands balled into fists so tight they hurt. I took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. Another breath. I stood up and realized Kay was talking. I believe she was... poisoned. See here, this device is some sort of syringe. 
I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. The muscle relaxant. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. Well, damn. What about the others? Should I go get them? No, never mind. I want to get your story first. What do you mean? When you left us, you and Luna went off together, right? Yes. But when we talked to Dio downstairs, he said he'd only seen you, not Luna. Why is that? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. All right, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating. Uh, resuscitating? Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Okay. Some minutes later, I heard something. It came from behind the cyan door, and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all. Oh no. It seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room two was slightly ajar. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. So you're saying you spent a good 20 minutes trying to resuscitate her? Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR. To the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Why didn't you tell us? Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence. But... Obviously... You failed. Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? Well, I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Okay, so if you were there five minutes before, you heard the scream, so yeah, you would have left before we got there. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. Then they had three minutes that to escape. Been plenty of time. When you leave this room, Immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? Um... The weapon. It's gone. It was on her? Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. Then did the killer take it? How would I it? know? Maybe they took it before Luna was murdered. Why are you asking me? If they had it, why not use it to kill Luna? Mm. Yeah, that would make sense. What? Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? I wouldn't kill anyone. This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. 
There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. So you're saying that they took the knife before they killed her? No. I don't know either way. Unless Luna has it on her. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. Could they have done that in the three minutes before Kate got here? It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. There was probably about a 30 minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. True. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. This is the game telling me not to suspect Luna now. You're trying to throw me off game. I see your bullshit. I see what you're trying to do. But you know what? We'll play along. All my all my suspicions are are gone. For now, I'll assume she's dead. But I don't trust you. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Sure. Let's get going. Good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? No, about the bunny, the bunny rabbit. Yeah. We should go to the white doors then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Yeah, good point. Once it's time to open the door, I'm sure they'll show up. Kay nodded and picked up Luna's bracelet. Please, take this with you. He held it out to me, and I stared down at the bracelet. I felt wrong to just take it. Like we were just using it and abandoning her. Is something the matter? You and Fi are the magenta pair. Without the green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. I know. It's mm. just... He pressed the bracelet gently into my hand. If you don't wish Luna's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? You had a point, Kay. You have a real good point. I sighed and closed my hand around the cold metal. Good. Shall we go? Wait. Hmm? Shit. Something happened? No. Well, not yet. We might be looking at a worst case scenario. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, what do you mean, Fi? God. What the hell is wrong with me? I don't know. How did I miss this? I'm sorry. This is my fault. It's just... <sighs> there was so much going on, I wasn't thinking. Thinking about what? What is it, goddammit? What did you miss? Quark. Quark? Right. Oh! Oh shit! Tenmyoji's a red solo. Clover's a cyan pair. Clover's, Quark's the other cyan pair. If he's not with them, they can't go through the secondary door. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear, this is bad. You're right, Kay. This is actually very awful. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then. Time. How much time do we have left? We have four minutes. Let's just go to the warehouse on floor B. Perhaps Quark has already been found. I sure hope so. Let's move. Quark is honestly the bane of my existence at this point. You know, I'd be fine if he just kind of went missing for a second and came back, but... He, he hasn't shown up again. He's like the shadow puppet. He's just like moving around in the background. No one can see him. But it's weird that no one's run into him yet. It doesn't actually, it makes no sense why no one's run into him yet with all the running around we've been doing.
Is there no one here? Oh my god, can we get through these? Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes. Oh no. You're late. What the fuck were you thinking? You trying to kill me? Shut the fuck up, Dio. <sighs> what about Quark? What? Did they find Quark? What the fuck would I know? I've been here. Look, forget about him. Where's Alice's bracelet? Which one of you has it? What about Tenmyoji and Clover? Have they come back yet? Look around, asshole. What do you think? Hey, uh, pay attention. The bracelet. Do you have Alice's bracelet? Yes, I do, you jackass. Hand it over. Five pulled it out of her pocket. The face still shone with blue light. This had been Alice's bracelet. Fi's eyes never left Dio's as she carefully handed the bracelet to Kay. Good. Let's go. Hey, what is this? What, you don't like this door? Fine, we can take a different one. As long as we're in the right group, it shouldn't matter which door we take. That's not the issue. Then please, tell me, what the fuck is the issue? Being a human being, the three of us still haven't arrived. If we leave them behind... Oh, come on! Now you're gonna grow a heart? If you stay here, you're gonna kill me! But... <sighs> Three Are... minutes remain. Are we gonna go the without him? Doors close. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll be honest with you. The truth is, I've got a kid. I'm a baby. Bullshit. I was told that if I didn't win this game, my kid's as good as dead. Is that what happened with Tenmyoji? That's... You have to trust me. I swear, it's God's honest truth. Zero told me to keep it under wraps, but I figure I don't have a lot of choice right now. I'll tell you more once we get inside. Please. It's a lie. Don't listen to him. I wanted to scream. Dio was obviously lying, but it looked like Kay was buying it. But he had to go in. I couldn't try and stop him. If I did, they'd both die. You have to believe me, Kay. Please. If you won't do it for me, do it for my kid. If I lose, it's all over. Please. Kay turned and looked at me and Fi. We both nodded silently back. I understand. Let's go. Really? Yes. I have one condition, however. A condition? Yes. But it's not for you, Dio. Sigma, I want you and Fi to go into one of the doors as well. Huh? Dio and I cannot be the only survivors. I would have the two of you join us. That is my condition. Damn it. Couldn't make this easy, could you? Shut up, Dio. What do you say? The decision is yours. Well, as much as I want to be left behind, I don't. No, I can't. Sigma, you dense motherfucker! You're asking me to leave three people to die. Use your fucking head for once. For once, I agree with Dio. You're gonna get us killed. Is that what you want? I can't just leave them behind. Me either. I agree with Sigma. We can't just ditch them. I'm staying. Fi. Fucking idiots. I agree with Dio for once. One minute remains until... I see. I suspected that would be your answer. You leave me with no choice then. My apologies. What? Huh? Uh, Did he knock us out? He's dragging us- oh my god. He's forcing us. You have my sympathy. I wish there was another way. Why? Do you actually believe, Dio? No, of course not. Smart man, Kay. I only wish to save you. If I had not forced the issue, neither of you would have budged. Such is your character. Kay, what are you doing? I confess I am not entirely sure. I will think about it during the ten seconds that remain. Goodbye. Kay turned and left, quickly disappearing outside of our door. Fi and I lay on the floor, moaning, curled around our stomachs. Air aching stomachs. One. Zero. Oh, he punched us in the gut. Chromatic doors. Well, you know what? At least we got through. I am sad about Clover and Tenmyoji, but... 
we had to get through. Not quite able to walk yet, Fi and I crawled out of the secondary door. The punch keg had given me an incredibly powerful, and my arms and legs still felt numb and tingly. Can you stand? Yeah. Can we just... sit here for a moment, though? My body's gonna be fine, but I think I need a little time to get my feelings sorted out. Fair enough. I nodded and we sat there in silence. No matter what I did, I couldn't get their faces out of my head. Tenmyoji, Clover, Quark. I hoped they were alright somehow, but... I wasn't sure how much time had passed before Fide finally stood up. We should go. And that was it. She turned and headed for the end of the hallway, feet dragging as if she were carrying something heavy. It was a moment or two before I followed. Security. Security would have cameras, right? Did you see the plaque on the door? Yeah, it said security. The footage from the surveillance cameras might run through here. Does that mean we'll be able to see what's going on in the rest of the facility? I'm not sure. Right now, all the screens are dark. Even if we could activate them, I doubt Zero is just going to let us watch whatever we want. Yeah, I'm just... I'm worried about them. We don't know what happened to Kay or Dio yeah. either. Well, let's see what we can do here. Oh my god. 